Boom there everyone! So, lately I've been flying the Mobila 8 DJI O3 and I've been thinking it's running on 2S and what... I've seen some videos on people who've been flying the Mob 7 on 3S and Mob 8 on 3S so I thought maybe I should do a video about it but my way. So I really love the way this Mobila 8 DJI O3 flies but it's a little bit chunky and it kind of feels heavy even though it can do the acro maneuver really well. So I thought maybe it needs a boost like a 3S boost and I uh, would like to try them with this 3S LiPo. I have these uh, 1204 motors that's rated for 3S and also I have this crazy F411 which is rated for 4S. This is the ELRS version. So I haven't really flown this particular flight controller much. I think I did a couple of flights on this one. So I thought why not combine the few and see what I get. Now I've tried a couple of frames to fit this crazy F411 but because of the motor pins which are actually facing horizontally rather than vertically, I am not able to fit that many whoop frames uh, or one piece whoop frames for this particular flight controller. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna custom my own whoop frame and I'm gonna do it with a Crux 3 airframe for its lightness and I'm just gonna cut out some ducts and use those for this particular build. Another thing is that using the 3S LiPo it will definitely not fit the Mobula 8 whoop frame. So I will build this with the LiPo mounted on top so because that's what I feel that would make a really good balance. Now I will be using the Runcam Wasp and that's with the Vista unit and I'm gonna decase the Vista unit and this is done off camera because just removing all that blue gunk is just pain in the butt. Yeah, just cleaning it takes a lot of time. So I've done the cleaning and what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill out the outer holes and this is a 25.5 by 25.5 holes that's mounted directly on top of the flight controller and because the crazy F411 has got really tiny solder points and solder pads so I'm gonna be using my microscope and doing all that solder. So I'm just gonna wire up the Vista into the flight controller and I'll be using the RX1 and TX1 because RX2 and TX2 is a dedicated UART especially for the receiver and, and especially this is the ELRS receiver. So next we'll be wiring up the Vista onto the flight controller and just connecting the wires onto the flight controller. I'm gonna be using this dipole antenna because it's the lightest one that I have and the other Omni antennas are really really heavy and I don't have a proper mount for it for this particular build. And so the rest is just you know fixing it all up, just assembling them all together, just making sure that everything is fitted nicely. Okay so it's all done and I've got this um, 3D printed camera holder that I got my buddy Sujit to print for me a while back and this is especially for this particular project that I've been thinking of doing since December. Well the parts were printed in December, I had all the parts, I just never got around to doing it. So let's put it on the scale and take a look. Right, the weight is at about 116, 117 grams and that's slightly heavier and chunkier than the Mobula 8 DJI O3 but this is on 3S and we've got the bigger motors. I've done all the setup on Betaflight and I've unlocked the Runcam Wasp and it's time to head to the fields. 